Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. It's your girl Shirley back with another video. So I just want to share with you guys two things that I took from 2023. And for all of you guys who want to know an update, yes, I did go back to work and this is my second week of work. It's been going well. I've been just doing what I have to do, but I am happy because I love what I do. I love the people I get to serve at work and work with. Like, it's just such a blessing. So, work has been good. I have, you know, started back at the gym and exercising. I'm excited because I'll definitely go again today once I get off of work. Trying to make it just part of my everyday life at this point again. And get used to having that schedule, you know, making time for it. Because like I said in the previous video, you know, we have to make things a priority like when you making things a priority then you plan to do those things whether if it's spend time with someone whether if it's prayer whether if it's reading your word whether if it's working out whether if it's you know investing saving whatever it is that you're trying to do you have to literally make it a priority because if you don't guess what life keep on happening and guess what that keep on slipping by right so because there are all there are always excuses as to why we can't do something okay so anywho today i want to give you guys two things that i took from 2023 that helped me and i know it can help you the first thing is you have to accept people for who they are, not for who you want them to be, not for who you desire them to be, not for the title they may have in your life. You have to accept people for just who they are. Because when you are able to accept people for who they are, you're able to walk in forgiveness. You're able to say, you know what, I can accept this is just who you are. And then I have a choice to make as to if I want you in my life, as to if I don't want you in my life. As to, do I want you in my inner circle? Do I not want you in my inner circle? You know what I mean? We have a choice. We can set those boundaries. But part of that and having a heart to forgive somebody is also being able to accept that really this is who this person is. And this is who they are in my life. Because you have to understand that sometimes people are important to you, but you may not necessarily be important to them. And that's what real reality it sucks but it's true right not everybody that you call friend consider you friend you know what i mean and some people will say hey no man you're my sister you know you my peep i got you but understand that that's not necessarily always for life sometimes it's for a season sometimes it's because you guys got the same goals or whatever in life you know what i'm saying in that season at that time or whatever Sometimes it's about what I can get from you or whatever the situation may be, right? Because in a relationship you have, there should be a give take. It be it should be something that you're learning and giving and vice versa. At least that's how I feel. Okay, so that was the first thing. Accept people for who they are because when you do, it helps you to be able to forgive them for the things that they do or the things that they don't do. It helps you also adjust also to adjust your expectation of what you expect from them because sometimes for real we're mad at people, we're hurt what about what people have or haven't done when in reality it's really just who they are. That's just how they are. But we want them to be in a certain manner that they're just not going to be because it's not who they are, right? So just understand that. So that's the first principle that I wanted to share with you guys that I got from last year. The second thing is don't be so fast to judge people or put people in a category. And because when you do, sometimes you prematurely judge a situation, you judge a relationship, you judge something. So just be mindful of that because that's also a way that helps you to walk in unforgiveness, walk in hurt and all that kind of stuff because you chose them to be in a certain position, but that's not necessarily the position that God may have had for them or have for them in your life. So just understand that you know because sometimes we have different boys and stuff in our life and we'll fill it with people and people come in with like oh this is that person this is who they supposed to be or this is who they are because this is how i feel you know what i'm saying but our emotions are fickle 
let's be real right so um and that's why for me personally a lot of times i don't depend on my emotions i depend on like i just make a choice at the end of the day i really just make a choice i make a choice if i want to love you if i don't want to love you i make a choice you know if i want you in my life if i don't want you in my life you know what i mean i literally just make a choice because for me I can't depend on my emotions. You know what I mean? Because sometimes after you don't been hurt so many times and you don't been through so much that you have to understand who you are and how you are. You know what I mean? I don't always feel I can't rely on my feelings because I don't always necessarily feel like I love you. For me, I just make a choice to say, hey, I love you. And because of the fact that I make the choice to love you, I can love you through the good, the bad, the indifference. I can love you and still not have you in my life as you may have once been you know what i mean so yeah and i'm gonna give you guys one more nugget even though i said two i'm gonna give you guys one more a bonus one um also you can't make nobody love you man you cannot you cannot make nobody love you you can't make your mom love you your dad love you you can't make your sister your friends a man a woman you can't make nobody love you you know what i mean it's either they love you or they don't. They make a choice. They make a choice as to if they love you and if they don't. So don't get caught up on trying to make somebody love you who don't love you. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it's just not meant. Or sometimes the person may be incapable of that, you know? And it's so many different factors that plays into that role. But don't try so hard to make someone love you. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, they have to make that choice. You can love them, but understand that they may not necessarily love you. You know what I mean? And actions speak louder than words. I say this all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because it, the word of God says that God so loved the word that he gave. There was an action that followed his love. You know what I mean? And so when it comes to people... For me, I believe that you really love me when I see the actions. You know what I mean? Like when you guys checked on me and reached out and different things when I was going through. Guess what? That right there let me know. Oh, no, you love me. You you, you know what I'm saying? You thinking about me. You know, that type of stuff. That's how I am. Actions speak louder. You know, if we get into it, like one thing I love about my um godparents right and and this is they they are just the ones i'm using for example today but like my godparents we don't had oh my gosh they've been in my life since forever since i was like a teenager or whatever and we don't have our ups and down moment but guess what because of the fact that they're my godparents they never turned away like if they did something and it upset me or i did something it's upset them and we see that one if the other person is going through something guess what we're gonna reach out to each other because for us we're family it don't matter we're family and family take care of family just that simple like my friends my best friend, you know, people like one of my best friends here from college. People like, I know y'all don't have, you know, what I'm saying like y'all seem like y'all always good. We are, we are, we are always good for the most part. Have we ever had a situation where we have a little falling out? Definitely, we have. And guess what? I still choose to love her, and she still chooses to love me because she's my sister, she's my friend, she's family. That's how I take it. For those who are in my inner circle, like for me, even. If we end up going separate ways at some point in our lives, it doesn't take away the fact that I love you. It doesn't take away the fact that if I see you in need, I will still help you. Because to me, family is family. You know what I'm saying? Whether if we close one season and far the next season, it doesn't matter. We're still family. And I still love and got you, period. You know, so those are just some nuggets that I'm sharing with you guys today i hope you all have a wonderful day i hope you have had a wonderful day all that kind of good stuff and i'm about to get my day started but i want you guys to know that you are loved because i love you and jesus love you too he loves you and if you have not accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior let me just give you that opportunity to do so all you got to do is say lord Please forgive me for my sins, God. Please come into my heart, God. I would like to accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you came and you died on the cross for my sins. And I believe that God raised you from the dead. 
if you truly said that and you believe that in your heart you are saved and as i always say don't just get saved get connected connected to a church where you can grow your understanding of who god the father is who god the son is who god the holy spirit is who are you what has god called 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 you to like who are you what's your purpose what gifts have god given you to be used not only in the church but also in the world not only in the world but in the church okay in the kingdom of god period so yes guys and let me just send a quick prayer with you you know what i'm saying as you guys get started or maybe you're ending your day i don't know you know what i'm saying what time you're watching this video but let me just go ahead on and pray with you Lord God, we just want to say, God, we just thank you. We praise you. We give you the honor, God. We thank you, God, for everything that you have done, everything that you are doing, everything that you will do, God. Lord Jesus, we ask that, God, that you just touch our minds, God, renew our minds, God. We ask that, God, that you just... God, give us the mind of Christ, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Help us to walk in forgiveness, God. Help us to forgive other people as well as ourselves, God. Lord Jesus, anything that we have, God, in our heart, God, any type of malice or anything that we have in our heart, God, we ask that, God, that you lose it right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We ask that, God, that you bring to the front front of our minds, God, the things, God, that we are doing or the things that we're not doing, God, that you are not pleased with, God. We ask that, God, that you help us to be better stewards, God, over everything that you have given us, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We ask that, God, that you cover us, God, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, Father. We ask that, God, that you just have your way in our lives, God. Please forgive us and continue to forgive us, God, for all of our sins, knowingly and unknowingly, God. Help us to mature in the faith, God. Help us, God, to know you like never before, God. Help us to share and show your love to any and everyone, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Help us, God, to do what your words say and not what our flesh say, God. Help us, God. Write out our tongues, God, in the name of Jesus. Allow us to speak when we need to speak and allow us to be quiet when we need to be quiet, God. In the name of Jesus, God. And we just praise you. We just honor you, God. We give you the glory, God. And Lord, we just ask that, God, that you just continue to protect all of our leaders, all of your kingdom leaders, God. In the kingdom of God, God, continue to cover them, God. Please continue to cover our brothers and sisters, God, in different parts of the world, God, that's going through different things right now god that may be experiencing war god who may be losing loved ones god you know because of whatever is going on in their government god so we just ask that you protect our our siblings god our, our brothers and sisters in the faith god all over the world god from china god to africa god everywhere god that you have your people god we ask that god that you just continue to cover each and every last one of them god you are people who are our people because we are one god you say as many members for one body god so god we just give you the praise and honor god and we ask that no weapon formed against us shall prosper prosper god as your word says god in the name of jesus god i offer up this prayer father amen 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 all right guys i love y'all until next time this your girl shirley i'm out and peace be with you okay